All right, good morning, everybody. Today is November November 5th, 2022. Uh, Saturday morning. Uh, for this video, I'm just driving from uh, South Flushing to North Flushing. I am at Main Street right now at the intersection of Booth Memorial, right parked outside of uh, the New York Presbyterian Hospital, Queens. Heading, um, heading north now. So today's a nice sunny day. I'm gonna cut through, cut through main, uh, flushing. So this is, uh, south flushing towards the LIE. A lot of houses in this area. And a lot of expensive houses, <laughs> I must say. Uh, these houses are at least at least 1.2, 1.3 million. You know, for a rundown house. If you're looking at something nicer, you're looking at like two million dollar houses. So right now I'm just driving up north on Main Street. You see on the right is the bus lane, and that bus lane is always it's always active from seven to seven every day it does help congestion uh, at the cost of uh, car congestion <laughs> us you know drivers so I don't think I'm able to cut through Main Street so I am gonna stop here yeah I can't just go straight down Main Street so, because there's a section that is uh, restricted you can only uh, go f go more than a block if you're in that restricted zone or else you get a ticket and they'll send you the ticket because it's all cameras in that restricted zone area so if they see your car going you know uh, more than one block then they'll give you a ticket it's supposed to be uh, reserved for you know entering you know you can only enter that zone if you're a bus or you're making local or you going there locally you know, if you're like a local delivery person that needs to make a block, you know, that you need to deliver within one block from your entrance, uh, then you get in. But if you travel more than one block, um, they'll send you a ticket. So to the right is a brand new condo that just went up on Main Street and i um, not sure what the street is. But there's a supermarket at the bottom and uh, four stories condos on top. So to the left are also a brand new condo that's going up. Another six story condo, two stories commercial and then four stories uh, residential condos. a delivery, appliance delivery, delivering uh, a fridge. So you see that it's already congested in the front. This is still south of Main Street, but we're going towards, um, you know, we're heading north. And you'll see that um, we're slowly going towards uh, the heart of Main Street, you know, where Roosevelt Avenue is. We're about three, four blocks away. So it is gonna get congested very soon if I go down another block or two. One thing you'll notice that you know in Flushing Main Street, 
There's like a supermarket on every single block. <laughs> you know, just from the start of the video, I passed by one, two, three. I passed by three supermarkets already. And then there's another three coming up. One to the left, and then there's one to the right. And these are not, they're, they're not small supermarkets. I mean, they're pretty decent sized supermarkets. But I guess due to the volume of foot traffic here, uh, there's a there's a market for supermarkets. So you see that there's a lot of street vendors over here. To the left, to the right. And it's like this every single day, early in the morning till nighttime. Street vendors are just out on the streets, just selling their goods. And it's, they sell all sorts of goods. I don't know, from clothes to like antiques to food, or dry food, pots and pans, um, all sorts of things. And then you can also bargain with them too if you want to. So today is a little bit warm. It's 72 degrees outside in November, which is kind of kind of odd. So to the right is the Main Street Library. I mean, not the library. That's the post office. Sorry about that. The library is it's another block down. So what I'm gonna do here is make a left turn because uh, the restricted area is coming up soon. So you see all these signs over here, starting from Sanford Avenue, it says do not enter trucks and buses only between 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. So anyone that needs to go into that zone, you can only travel down for one more block before they, you know, before they take you. And the restricted area runs about, about eight blocks or so, just to ease the congestion at Main Street, uh, the heart of Main Street, because it gets very congested, you know, in the next few blocks. That's the reason why they have to restrict the zone. So you see that only buses and delivery trucks are able to, you know, be, supposedly be in that restricted area. Now to the right, there's more street vendors, you can see. Selling clothes, they're selling boots, selling uh, DVDs. And there's antiques down there, there's vase. And to the left, they're selling fruits. So yeah, it is odd that, you know, there's really no uh, no enforcement, no legal enforcement. Because, you know, if you do street vendoring, you're supposed to get a, a street vendor license. But apparently, um, you know, law enforcement doesn't care about these street vendors anymore. I guess they have, uh, you know, other things to worry about. Besides uh, giving tickets to uh, illegal street vendors. So you see at the corner over here. There's a lot of people looking at... Um, I think antiques, they're looking at antiques. There's like five people or five or six people that's surrounding that, that corner over there. This is this is a pretty tough intersection because there's no uh, there's no lights to make a left turn here, so you sort of have to wait until the next light, the next red light, to make a left turn. Huh? Yeah. Well, I'm I'm, tr 
trying to uh, trying to turn here. So I'm stuck here again. So here's someone passing by on a scooter. So right in the front is the Long Island Railroad Bridge. And then the block after that is Main Street. But the block after that is Roosevelt Avenue. That's where the 7 train Main Street station is. So once I get an opportunity, I'm going to make a left turn right away. Because all these cars is gonna come at me. So to the right is uh, what we call the, the Chinatown buses. That white bus. Alright, so I'm gonna make a left first. There's just no way I could wait for another light. Right of bike lanes. This used to be uh, you know, a two lane street, but now it's just one lane to um, reserve. You know, the other the other space is just reserved for bikes. So right now I'm on Sanford Avenue and Frame Place. I am gonna get onto uh, College Point Boulevard and then make a right to get to uh, North, no, North Flushing If I make a right on College Point Boulevard, I'm gonna be going up to College Point, north, north of here. If I make a, if I make a south here, you know, I'm gonna be heading to uh, Flushing Meadows Park, the Flushing Meadows Corona Park, uh, the entrance to the LIE, the entrance to the Van Wyck Expressway. And I've had a video before, you know, going down there during rush hours. It's uh, very, very congested during rush hours. right here uh, so you notice that you know even though they could get rid of the, the traffic on Main Street it's just diverting traffic to elsewhere so right now all the surrounding streets are just congested <laughs> so you know there's really uh, you know, there's really no point to make it restricted zones you know on Main Street because all these other side streets are congested because they have to reroute. 
So that white tall building in the front, that's Queen, no, that's uh, Skyview Park, condominium. I think that was the phase one that they built many years ago. Uh, their luxury condos, studios are well over, you know, 700,000. You know, you're looking at like 500 square feet, which is sort of similar to like Manhattan prices. There's penthouses there, you know, one, two bedrooms that are, you know, two, three million dollars. They just finished a phase two tower that faces, uh, that's near more the, you know, near the Newton Creek. Those are even more expensive because there's, uh, there's water view. So to the left, you see that shopping plaza on the, you know, at the bottom and then on top of the condos. And to the right are, are the projects, government housing. So I'm at the intersection of College Point Boulevard and Roosevelt Avenue. To the left here, Park Hotel. Uh, the architect, I mean the architectural structure, uh, is pretty uh, interesting. Because you see how, uh, you know, all the windows are opened up to the side. And then on the, on the other side, the front of the building, they're all closed up. You can actually slide it to, uh, you know, to open and close the... I guess the walls. Which is uh, pretty interesting. So right now I'm at College Point Boulevard parallel to uh, Main Street. I'm still heading north. You'll see many more luxury condos going up. These two towers on the right, glass towers. Those are brand new condos that just went up. the Northern Boulevard uh, underpass. Northern Boulevard, um, and it's sort of it's a divider between North and South Flushing. You know, when we say in the North Flushing, we're referring to uh, North of Northern Boulevard. So right now we are at North Flushing. It's mostly residential here. I'm no, I'm not sure why I'm stuck here. Oh, it's because of all these uh, auto mechanic. I mean, uh, the auto mechanics. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna make a left. I mean, make a right over here. And uh, up front are more, more condos going up. So this is 35th Avenue. So more luxury condos are going up here. There's one, two, two of them to the left and then one of them to the right. This area used to be uh, mostly commercial buildings or run down ho little houses. So this flushing development is essentially 20 to 30 years in the making. And they spent many years, uh, well the developers spent many years trying to buy, buy the lots and then they spent Many years trying to get approval from the you know from the building department and the zoning department because they're all restrictions of you know of these type of developments. So 
but right now I'm at Linden Place on 35th Avenue. And uh, I will be ending my video soon. Just giving you a glimpse of uh, flushing, north and flush, north flushing, south flushing, and uh, all the congestions that you deal with, you know, when you go to flushing. That's why a lot of a lot of people don't want to go to flushing anymore. Okay, so if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below. I'll see you in the next video.